What's going on YouTube? My name is Chris, your headless host for today, and welcome to Immodernation. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take apart your Nintendo Wii U gaming console. Now, before we begin, there are a couple tools you are going to need. First, you're going to need a small precision screwdriver kit. These are also used for eyeglasses. You can get them at most stores. And the other thing is a tri-wing screwdriver. I've included Amazon affiliate links in the video description below, or you can simply buy one of those iFixit kits that includes everything that you'll need to get started. Flipping the console over, we can see that there are six screws on the bottom. Three of the screws are Phillips screws, while the other three are tri-wing. I'm gonna start with a Phillips precision screwdriver followed by the tri-wing screwdriver. I'm using a tri-wing bit, but even a dedicated tri-wing screwdriver will work just fine. Make sure you keep track of where the screws go so that you know where to put them back when you reassemble the system. Or just play this video again in reverse, I'll be happy to take the views. By the way, most of these screws are not visible unless you peel off the little plastic sticker, so make sure you have a razor blade available. If we flip our Wii U system over to the vent side, we'll see that there are three screws. One is holding in a vent and the other the CMOS battery. This battery is crucial to the operation of the system, so please do not lose it. And more screw removal. Get used to it. Now we're gonna flip the Wii over on its other side. We're gonna slide the compartment out to reveal, shock, three more screws. Try wing to the rescue. I don't know why companies put security bits on their consoles to begin with. When I see non-standard screws on electronics, I don't think stay away. I think challenge accepted. Maybe it's just me. Let me know in the comments section. You can begin to see now that the system is coming apart. You might not be able to see what I'm pointing to, but there's a little silicone bumper on the side that I need to remove before pulling the system apart. The inside is not very sexy at all. I've never been so underwhelmed in my life. Here's a shot of that back so You know what, I can't even fake it. It's not attractive at all. Two Phillips screws hold on the faceplate, but don't forget about the connector before you remove the faceplate. To remove the connector, use a Phillips screwdriver and push the brown part of the connector up and towards the optical drive. Now the faceplate should just slide right off. I should have removed the SD card before taking the console apart, but the SD card is still okay. Now I'm just using the precision screwdriver to remove the bracket that holds the optical drive to the console. Alternative camera angle, you say? Don't worry, I got you, fam. Carefully lift the optical drive from the left side, but please be careful because there's a ribbon cable attached underneath that you do not want to break. To remove the ribbon cable, lift up on the tabs and gently pull the ribbon cable out. Right now I'm just carefully removing the antennas for the wireless connections. One set of antennas controls the wireless ability for the GamePad and Pro Controller, while the other one controls the Wi-Fi for internet access. Maybe with a second camera angle, you can get a better look at the action. Now I'm using the precision screwdriver to remove the two screws that hold the fan in. Use a screwdriver to remove the fan connector or needle nose pliers, your choice. I'm now removing the two black screws that hold the plastic shroud in place. Plastic shroud allows the fan to pull heat off of the heat sink and away from the processor. And when the processor stays cooler, you get to game longer without fear of the system overheating or prematurely dying. Yay! One other thing I do need to mention about the black shroud, when you remove it, make sure you slide it towards the back before lifting up in order to remove it. 
I'm using tweezers to remove the tape that's holding the wires to the system. You could also use a fingernail. Fingernail works, costs less too. This gesture that I'm making with my hand means we need to remove all the screws from the outer perimeter. Those two screws in the middle as well. To remove the heatsink cover, slide it towards the back and then lift up. Is it too late to say I hope you've been organizing all your screws? Most of these screws on the metal tray though are Phillips and about the same length. Next we're going to lift the metal tray up and away from the system. This is most definitely a two-handed maneuver. We can now lift the outer plastic away from the main board. We are almost done. Hang in there guys. If you've ever worked with desktop computers, you might be familiar with this configuration. Four spring-loaded screws holding the heatsink to the processor. This is the last time we'll be using a screwdriver for this teardown. Aren't you guys excited? Simply twist and lift. Don't try to pull, you'll break the board. You are now looking at the Wii U main board. Congratulations on making it this far. Last step, we untangle the wires from the black plastic retainers. And last step, we remove the metal tray. Thanks for checking out my Wii U teardown video. If you have any comments or questions or wanna give me some feedback on the video, be sure to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks, and I will see ya!